excited that she is going to make a full recovery and she is expected to be okay. Now, uh, the deputy, of course, is 51 years old and she has been with HCSO for 26 years. Reporting live at St. Joe's Hospital in Tampa, Rebecca Medina, ABC Action News. Rebecca, thanks. Our chief investigative reporter, Alan Cohn, has been digging into the background of the company that runs that crane. And he joins us now. Alan, what'd you find out there today? Jameson, what you're looking at right here are vehicle inspection reports for this company, Ray Anthony International, from 2010 all the way back from 2006. And what you see here is a range of violations from broken equipment on trucks, drivers who do not have the proper licenses to drive these trucks, and drivers who violated uh, state laws regarding the number of hours that they can work, uh, size and weight violations, and other traffic enforcement violations. Now, we have been directed to a national database. Over the last two years, Ray Anthony International has had over 27% of its vehicles taken out of service. That's above the national average. Over 9% of the company's drivers have been taken out of service. Again, that is above the national average. Now, how do you put all of this into context? We asked the State Department of Motor Carrier Compliance, and it says it does not rank trucking companies uh, in the state of uh, Florida, but it did refer us to that website at safersystems.org to see how this company uh, compares to other companies from around the U.S. Jameson, lots of digging today. All right, Alan Cohen joining us. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well